stick along for the ride and let me know what you think. This is part seven. Back in Dover. Almost time to get off the ship. Spend three days in London and then go home. Last view of the bath from the balcony. Here's Dover, England. We're back. It's pretty quick, but also not. So we missed our bus to Folkestone, but that's okay because we're just we had a transfer to Canterbury and this bus goes to Canterbury anyway, so yeah. Yeah. It's not too much of a detour. It worked out that we walked all the way from the cruise terminal over to Dover Priority Station. So we got to Canterbury East at 9.16 and the train leaves at 9.19 and we're on the train right before I left, like two minutes before. Now we're heading off. Trying to figure out the tube. We got our cue cards. We got into Wimbledon. The grounds passes, I guess. Um, the guy said we came in at like the perfect time because there was no queue. So it was just a long walk to get over to the queue thingy. <laughs> doubles and now we're standing in line to try to get into court number three where Coco, the American woman tennis player is playing. Coco Golf. Coco Golf. Yes. So apparently strawberries and cream is a big thing at Wimbledon, so we all got some strawberries and cream. Today for lunch we stopped at the Lebanese Grill. We got a lamb shish and a falafel or something like that. I have no idea which one is which, yeah. but they are pretty large. So I never updated the plan for today. Melanie went to go see a friend in Cambridge, so she took a train and is gone for now. She'll be back this evening. The rest of us. We were not doing much of anything, and now it's like three or something like that. And we're gonna go walk along the Thames, River Thames. So here's the Tower Bridge, I guess. London Bridge is off that way. But this is a crazy suspension bridge looking thing. We got our tickets and we got over to the first bus stop and I guess we missed the first bus by a couple minutes and then the second bus that just came by is not in service. The tours guy told us to walk across the tower bridge and now we're heading over to the other stop. House of Lords is the other the most English thing ever to occur to place the world's longest queue. I think it's time for another update. So mom and I are at St. Stephen's. Uh, getting some fish and chips. Melanie's hat blew off, her Wimbledon hat <laughs> that she got like two days ago on the bus. It blew off and she's looking for it on the bridge. Westminster Bridge. Is Westminster. Where it's at. Woo -hoo, traffic jam. Oh, hey, look at that. We are moving. <laughs> I got some leaves. <laughs> got the bus. And um, it's raining. So I guess we're doing a river cruise or something. And then are we heading back to the place after that or what are we doing? 
Oh, cool. Because then we avoided like, I don't know, another hour on the bus with the loop. It was kind of slow with traffic and it was kind of boring, so. Okay. Made it onto the ferry. It looks like there's nothing, not even a window there, but. We made it on the ferry thingy. There's the eye. I don't know why they call it an eye. <laughs> Many famous people have performed in the um, a Royal Festival Hall, including Pavarotti, Frank Sinatra, Bob Marley, Jimi Hendrix, Amy Winehouse, David Bowie. Unfortunately, all those people are no longer with us. We're waiting for Justin Bieber to play there. <laughs> <laughs> Tower of London. We're out of the apartment on the way to the subway thingy. Travel day, day and a half. In like 36 hours, we'll be back in Minnesota. So, see you later, London. See you later, Europe. It's time to go home. Look at this hand sanitizer. Yeah, go for it. Okay, eight, seven, three, four. I'm going off the camera. Okay, go. Alright. I got some hands. That's good. You know, messy. Oh my goodness. Sick. Frankfurt in like an hour, as planned. Now we have 12 hours to go or something. So we grabbed some dinner from some places. This is from McDonald's, cookie dough donut and like the two beers or whatever. I don't even know what these two are, but actually not too bad. And uh, then we got some other sandwiches and stuff. McDonald's here keeps closing down more and more spots on us. So we're migrating to whatever open spots we can find. Seven hours, 10 hours to go. So in the meantime, we're playing 500, and this all was for one game. It was a very long game, and not a lot of eight bids, but I made a nine bid here, which was really, really nice. They were closing everything down up here. I can almost turn this into a 24 hour challenge. And it's not even 10 p.m. here in Frankfurt. It's now past midnight. It's like 12.05 or something. The night crew is in. This is, this is it. This is it. Looking out over the dark airport. Some people over there. So this this free pizza is looking more appetizing by the minute. <laughs> We've been here for too long. <laughs> too long. We've made too many marks on the walls. Little tick marks. Like they do in the prisons to mark every day. It is 4.30 now. I think I got like two, maybe two and a half hours of sleep. It was it's kind of hard sleeping over there but survived the night I think I need a shirt that says I survived Flughafen Frankfurt made it off the plane almost home sweet home all right now I can say we're home sweet home right Tiger Oh, good boy, good boy, good boy. Yeah, kitten. Hey, ah, get out of my way, tiger. Hey, kitty. Oh, good girl, good girl. Yeah, chill, you big dog, chill.